Cinco inspirado por Los Sopranos. I gotta see this shit, bro. I gotta this see this shit. This is a video I've been wanting to make for years now. Oh, and shit. Como siempre. Soon, Co el que no conoce a Dios a cualquier santo le reza a la verga. Mira, igualito, güey. Igualito. Qué pedo a la verga. If you haven't watched The Sopranos yet, don't worry. I will Mira, not hijo de su puta, we sin vergüenza. Rockstar sin vergüenza, wey. But it seems like the writers of GTA 5 took some inspiration from The Sopranos. After all, the story they were trying to tell was in many ways. Me sucede que hoy que al cajiel otra vez Watson. Al no, papu, ayúdame, felicita. Cara triste, pollito no llorando a Y al demonios tengo miedo a Agri. Se asma, no, dice que Uriel me vi la versión torno de los Sopranos y está mucho mejor que la serie original ZZZZ que pitote tiene el Tony. Sí. It's in their mid 40s, living in a big house with a pool, smoking cigars, uh -huh. and obsessing over old movies in their free times. No, they both even end up getting producer roles in movies. Both of them are high school athletes. I played high school football, all right, sweetheart. All state, QB. All I know is you never had the makings of a varsity athlete. <laughs> Lo dijo, lo dijo. They both have the same family issues. No Disappointed in their sons, daughters that hate them, and a very unstable marriage due to adultery. Michael disappointed his son because he's unemployed and does nothing but stay home and play Mom. video games. Your son. God. Parents, he's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid. <laughs> Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. Exacto. Igualito, güey. Igualito que el Tony. Al Tony también le caga su hijo, güey. Al Tony también le da cringe su hijo. No mames, güey. Tony is disappointed in his son because he's also unemployed and does nothing but stay home and play video games. No mames. How about the fact that I hate my son? Come on, Mish. Mi papá con su terapista. Mi papá con su terapeuta. Terapista. Mi papá con su psicóloga. Play video games. How about the fact that I hate my son? Come on, he's sitting on the computer in his fucking underwear. Wasting his time in some chit chat room, going back and forth with some other fucking jerk off. Igualito. Tony's son owns a yellow SUV. No, ma no, ma this way. Rafi se que por algo es el peor GTA de la historia. No, es el más chingado, es el más chingado. Wey, no te pases de mí. Son also owns the old SUV. Get the fuck out of here! Both of them end up losing their SUVs in different ways. Get the Tony fuck out of here! Windshield. Michael smashes Simeon's giant glass window with Jimmy's truck. No, mames. Michael is a criminal mentor to Franklin and even calls him the son el, el, he never had. The same way Tony is a mentor to his nephew Christopher. Both Michael and Tony go to therapy. And funnily enough, the introduction of GTA 5 and the pilot of The Sopranos both start with a shot of our protagonist and their no therapist. They both dress similar, either wearing no shorts. Later on in GTA 5, Michael works out of the office of a strip club just like Tony did. Back in 2012, Dan Hauser, one of the writers and producers of GTA 5 and the co-founder of Rockstar Games, claims he's only seen a tiny bit of The Sopranos. Que según nomás vi un poquito de los sopranos, no, no, huele a plagio aquí, well, huele a plagio. I know the other writers must have seen the show considering GTA 3 and GTA 4. Aquí had a huele a plagio. Now, do I think GTA 5 story is a complete ripoff of the sopranos? Of course not. Clearly the sopranos no, si tells a much si different story than GTA 5. But I do believe that Rockstar took some inspiration from the sopranos and there's nothing wrong with that. It wouldn't be the first time they've done something like this. Vice City was basically Miami Vice and Scarface. No, pues la neta. Qué copiones. A ver, le voy a comentar a este amigo. Oye, Hispi, fíjate que yo soy bien fan de los sopranos, entre paréntesis, sopranizado. Sopranizado. Y neta, nunca me había percatado de estas similitudes. Fíjate. Qué curioso porque Paco Queso dice que paz, mejor, mejor vámonos con Pixi Payasita que ella sí da risa. Audiencia ya le interesa ver los sopranos entre paréntesis sopranizarse. 
sale un saludo, un saludo de parte de la chapizza, chapizza, y el señor me, oye, ya, ya, güey, ni te topas, no, pura mamada, pura mamada, una mafufada.